Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our 2025 planner release. As you can tell, I have zero chill. Um, we have a lot to get through today. I feel like this video is going to be so long, so I'm just going to jump right into it, but I'm going to leave some highlights here at the beginning of the video, um, just so you don't miss them. But first of all, we are having buy a planner, get a kit free. So if you buy either a B6 planner or an A5 wide planner, or I guess 7 by 9 planner, um, if you put that in your cart with a kit, the discount will automatically happen at checkout. So you'll do buy a planner, get a kit free, and that's for this weekend. Um, so don't miss out on that. Like I said, you have to add both to your cart. It's not just like buy a planner and we'll throw in a kit in your order. You have to put both in your cart and then you'll see the discount where it makes the kit free. That way you get to pick what kit you want to. Um, so don't write your free kit in the notes, please. Anyway, um, so that's the first part of the sale. The other part of the sale that we have is buy a weekly plus monthly insert, get a kit 50% off. So the weekly plus monthly insert is the $30, I believe, the $30 insert on our site. And that is the only one that qualifies for the buy an insert, get a kit 50% off. So, um, yeah, that discount is also automatic at checkout too. So definitely check those out. That's all I have for sales today. Well, except the new releases are an additional 10% off, but they always are every single week. So those are the sales for this week. So don't miss that. Um, and then uh, also this week we have our January monthly collection. So we have the monthly, the weekly, the decorative kit, and then we have some foil and the foil is super functional this week. Um, it's mostly just updated so that you have a bunch of stickers that can be used in your planners, especially if you get undated. It gives you the ability to make your undated planners dated. I mean, we have stickers already that do that, but these specifically match the dated planners. So it's the same font and same sizing and everything so that you can like really truly make an undated planner a dated planner without like having to search around with what would work best for you. So. That was my goal with that. Um, so those are all of what we're releasing new um, in terms of planners before I jump right into it. Again, this is a lot of talking, but I just want to make sure that I'm hitting the most important things here at the beginning of the video before I just fall into this rabbit hole of planners. Um, so we have new 2025 planners in 7x9 and B6 that are dated. We also updated the undated ones as well. Um, in addition to that, we updated the 2025 inserts and the undated inserts. Um, and also we have a brand new coil planner in the B6 size. It is a daily planner. So stick around if you want to see a daily planner. Um, and then we also have two new planner inserts. One of them is a lined weekly insert. And the other one is a daily grid insert that has a weekly overview. So the two new inserts and the new B6 planner are super, like a lot more functional than what we usually release. Um, so definitely if you are looking for something more functional to add to your lineup or maybe you're just like not a super decorative planner anymore and you saw that we have functional things and that's why you're watching this video, um, we will be going over that as well. I feel like a teacher, like giving you the broad bullet points of a lesson before we get into the nitty gritty, but it's fine. So we also have new covers. Um, I think that was like a given. Obviously this one's not new. So ironically, the thing that I had the most chill on for this release was the covers. We only have eight new covers, but we also have like all of the old covers from before, except I took out the 2024 one, um, because obviously we're not in 2024 anymore. So we have all the old covers from before. So, um, Really, you're just getting more on top of a lot of the covers that are classics. Like, I still love this cover just as much this year as I did last year. Um, so, yeah. And you can see two of the new covers here. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. I honestly don't know what I want to go over first. Maybe I'll go... Mm, I feel like new covers is not the best move for what to get into first. So, maybe I'll do the new covers after I'm done with the foil planners, and then we'll transition into inserts and go from there. So, I'll start with our most popular planner first, which is our 7x9 planner, and I'll start with the dated one first. Um, and then we'll go into the undated 7x9, and then the dated B6, the new B6 um, daily planner. Then I'll go over the covers, the inserts, 
and then the stickers. That seems like a solid plan, I feel like, I hope. Um, so, yes, welcome. <laughs> uh, anyway, so here is one of our new covers. This is the 2025 Floral Sketches, I believe is what it's called. Um, so you can see on the front here, and this is what the inside looks like in the back. Um, as with all of our covers, they are available a la carte. So say you like already started, like say you got our July start planner and then you want this cover for when you're using your July start through the rest of next year, um, you can do that too. So it's totally up to you. If you are someone that likes to switch your covers through the seasons, uh, we got you covered. I have a really cute like seasonal city collection going on for for the covers so I'm so excited to show you those but anyway let's just get into our new 2025 7x9 planner I'm showing everything in the black coil that is my favorite coil to show that's my personal choice I do love the gold silver and rose gold that we also offer but um, for me personally I don't like it when the coil clashes with whatever foil I have going on but if I did have to pick a coil color like absolutely had to pick one I'd pick silver something so classy about that but Gold is also a top contender. Absolutely not get rose gold. I'm sorry, but I feel like rose gold clashes the most with the other foils, especially gold. I love a rose gold moment, but rose gold, I feel like with mixed metals, it's like, I can't do it with my stickers. I just can't. I can do it with jewelry. I cannot do it with stickers. I don't know why. Anyway, um, so 2025 planner cover. Here we have our... I have to keep this off to the side, by the way, so it's not exactly the prettiest shot, but um, my desk is a little small, and if I put these on the ground, I feel like they're going to fall over, and I'm going to lose all of them. So these are just the, the giant tower of inserts and some stickers on the bottom. So here is the cover. So we have a This Planner Belongs To, and then down here it says City Sticker Planner, 7x9, 2025. You have your 12 boxes here six on each page. We have this every single year. Um, you can see here all of the tabs. Um, start with January, go down through June, and then we have July through December here. We've updated our yearly overview page. So you get 2025 on this side, 2026 on this side. Um, we did have someone message us saying that the undated planner had the old yearly overview on it, and I should have updated that sooner, um, but I did not um, for the other one. But that is one thing that has been updated with our um, undated, undated planners that we just released. So all of our undated planners, our new ones, will have the, the correct yearly overviews now. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so you have your yearly overviews here, 2025, 2026. This is our dashboard sort of situation that we always have going on. Nothing has really changed here except for the font. We did update the font. This is this year's planner font. Want the planner font haters to chill out, please. Um, but we have a dot grid on this side and then a little dashboard on this side with your tab. And then, as usual, the tab always opens up to the month. Ugh. I don't understand why other planners don't do that. Um, but ours does, so the tab opens directly into the monthly. Um, so you have just your normal monthly layout. So you have Sunday, it's a Sunday start, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We updated the font here and the number font. We also updated the font here. Minor changes. This probably doesn't look any different than what you're used to. Um, it's just, this is how it's always been. So, um, that is the month. And then we get into the week, and this is where you might see some differences. So over here, instead of doing just like, I usually do the month that Monday is. So this would technically say December, even though it's in the January category. Um, I actually did a little dot in between to let you know that the days leading up to the one are in December, and then once you hit the one, it's January. Um, I don't know. I thought I personally would always get confused when I was making the planner about whether or not I should put a December or a January on a week like this. So now you get both. Um, um, and I, a lot of people here are very familiar with whiteout, so you can always just white it up and put whatever you want there. Um, but there's that. And then 
another update is, is that the date numbers are on top of the days of the week. Um, I mean, I just thought that it looked cute. Um, it was a little bit different than what we do before. Normally the, the number is next to the day of the week. Um, but I just like the way this looks. I think it's cute. I think it makes this upward space look a little less bizarre, even though we're probably all going to sticker this anyway, but still. Um, and then, of course, you have your little faint dotted little columns here, um, and they are dotted. Um, yeah, they look a lot more obvious when you don't have any stickers down because there's nothing else to look at But once you put the stickers down, I feel like it's practically invisible. So yeah, you have your faint dots to split it into the columns I'm not sure if that really applies to as many people now as it did when we first started doing it um, But it's still a thing that I enjoy personally. So um, yeah, and then as you can see here all the days are in the month of January So now the column here says January. So that's just about how it goes for all the months. You have February and March. Um, on the months where it's really long, they are split in half down here. Um, April, May, June. You get the gist. Um, so that is everything that's been updated in the undate in the dated planner. Sorry. Um, and then you do get your dot grid pages at the back. So you get, I believe, 12 of them. Um, I basically did like one for each month. Oops. And then after that, back here, you just get a blank page that just has like our information at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that is everything for the 2025 dated 7x9 planner. Um, like I said, pretty minor updates in my opinion. Um, hopefully there's nothing that we change is like a deal breaker for you. Um, but yeah, love her. Then we also have our undated one, which is what I'll go over next. You can see one of our new planner covers here. This one is called Fall City. So like I said, I have like a whole seasonal city thing that you'll see when I show you all of our new covers, but this one is the fall one. And then of course we'll have winter, spring, summer as well. But this is fall, just because we're in fall right now. So just thought it'd be fun. Um, so yeah, this is the fall city cover in the 7x9. And this is our undated planner. So you can see here, oh, look at the pretty polka dot. I made the polka dots coordinate with the pattern on the outside. So cute. Sorry. Um, anyway, again, you get your introduction page here. Down here it says undated. You get your boxes again. You get the overview. Yes, it has the 2025 and 2026. You have your dot grid and then your dashboard that has no month on it. And then you have your blank tab. The tab does still open to the month. This is one change that I made about undated. Arguably, I feel like undated got the most updates, um, but that's saying a lot because I still feel like it's minor. So before we had absolutely nothing in the top up here. Um, but I just feel like maybe that, I don't want to say it like scared people off, but I feel like it just makes it open more, more open to like a wider audience maybe. I don't know. Um, but before we just had it where there's nothing up here and then this actually went all the way across so you can make your sidebar on either side. To this day, granted, I don't look at every single post on Instagram, let's be honest. But to this day, I have not seen a single person put their sidebar on the left side. I've always seen it on the right side. I could be wrong. It's okay if I'm wrong, but I just went ahead and I made it so that there's an actual sidebar here instead of lines. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's just a change that I decided to make. I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Um, I could be wrong about that, but still. Um, so yeah, we have the days of the week at the top, but you have no month and no dates here. And then another controversial thing possibly is that I put the days of the week at the top of each column. So you have your blank column and then they say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So um, all you have to add is your date number or if you're not going to use it, just white it out. Um, so yeah, I know that a lot of people, well not like a lot, but I know like a handful of people do like having it like truly like blank slate. But I feel like once 
you don't have like I feel like the days of the week just make sense to have on here um just because I don't really know what the word I'm looking for is like if it doesn't have the days of the week on it I've look, looked at other undated planners in my lifetime and I've never really seen one that doesn't have the days of the week on it and I, maybe that's like something that makes us different honestly I'm open to feedback but um like it just it was starting to not feel like a planner anymore. I don't know how to explain it. It just felt like boxes on a page, which is fine. Um, but um, I feel like having the days of the week on here is okay. Maybe I'm wrong, but like I said, here, just keeps going. You have 12 of these. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. We do have some planner tabs. We took them down at one point, and then I was going to revamp them, and then I never did love having ADHD um so we do have planner tabs this time and the planner tabs match these the the dated ones so you can like make your own dated planner that's what I'm talking about when I say that I feel like a lot of the stickers allow undated people to have their own like like the feel of the dated planner and have things that are made specifically for the undated planner instead of like having to try to find things that might work for it so um, yeah, this was the undated 7x9. I'm going to show you the dated B6. I will not be showing an undated B6 just because it's like, it's the same thing. Um, so this is that 2025 cover in the B6 size. Intro in your boxes, your overview, same thing, it's just smaller. You have your dashboard and your tab again opens to the month and you have your month here that is dated of course for the undated planner you will have no January here you'll have nothing on the tabs no date numbers you will have the days of the week at the top but you won't have this um, January here and then here we get into the weekly so you have again made a change where you have the dates on top of the days of the week um, I think it's like especially cute and this. I don't know why it makes me so happy. Um, just kind of like how Shanice was saying from Planners, or Taco Planners and Tacos, if you haven't seen her say, but she just thinks that the little like arch on the like newly reformatted sheets is like so satisfying for some reason. And that's how I feel about these dates on top of the, the days of the week. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday is split here. And then in the undated version, you still have the days of the weeks on here, just no number on top. So um, I don't really think that there's much else to say. Um, our B6 kits, B6 monthlies fit perfectly in this. We do not make B6 weekly kits because our normal weekly kits work just fine in this. They, the columns in this planner are the exact same width as the columns in the 7x9, so any one and a half inch stickers will work in this planner. Um, so, which is basically most stickers in the community, I feel like, are made for that. So, that's super fun. And then again, going all the way to the back, you have your dot grid in the back. So, there is that. So this is the dated B6, and then of course we have the undated B6 as well. I'm actually going to take a sip of my drink. And a normal person would edit that out, but a normal person also wouldn't drop a planner. Um, but I am team no edits, just because... I know that I'm, I tell myself that I'm going to edit something out and then I completely forget to edit it out and then it's just more awkward saying that I'm going to edit it out or I like repeat myself again thinking that I'm going to edit it out. So we are team no edits unless absolutely necessary. Um, so yeah, this is our new daily planner. This daily planner is super, super functional. Let me just go ahead and show you so functional um but it only comes in the b6 size um and it is coil bound you can pick your coil and you can pick your cover um this is one of our covers from last year so um 
I'm just seeing it a little bit. This is the Magnolia scrapbook, I think is what it's called. Um, so kind of just getting into the daily planner. It says Sadie's daily planner, B6 undated. So the daily planner only comes in undated. Um, you do get the yearly overview in the front, but then you just jump right in to the, the daily. Um, so this is undated and it's a pretty functional layout in my opinion. Um, there's not really much room for stickering. I mean, you can do like a little bit of stickering if you want. Um, I'm never opposed to that, but in like in comparison to say like this, like this is built for stickers, whereas this is like more built to be a functional daily planner. So you have your months at the top and your days of the week at the top, and you can just pick what day you are on. Um, so you don't even need stickers in this planner if you don't want. Um, so I just wanted to do that because I don't need a daily planner every day. And that sounds ridiculous to say like, oh, I don't use my daily planner daily, but it's just more so like I don't have a day every day where I need to like be super on top of things like this. Um, if you are, that's fine. Like you can, I'm proud of you, honestly, if you can do that but um maybe my life would be more organized if I stuck to something like this but it's okay um but for me personally like I because there's so many days in this like I wouldn't want it to like go to waste or be unused especially if I'm not going to like for me personally even if I did work like a traditional job like Monday through Friday I would absolutely not touch this thing on Saturday and Sunday and then I've got two days going to waste every single week so um, I just think it's like super simple here you can just highlight your month and your day and then just get started with your day so um, I just feel like it just makes it a little bit more usable you do get a little over a year in here I think you get like 170 of these things in here um, I could be wrong but it is just a little over a year, a half a year in here, sorry. Um, so just to go over it, super functional, like I said, date at the top, you pick, you have, you can put a focus here and some reminders, top three tasks that you want to get done for the day. You can do your schedule here. You have the little like colon here where you can put like your hour and your minute here if you want. You have a tiny tiny note section down here just to like scribble some things maybe if you're like on the phone and you need to write down a phone number or something you have your to-do list with some check boxes your meals no snacks just breakfast lunch dinner um if you want to write your snacks i'm sorry um but i don't know it just made more sense to me to have breakfast lunch dinner here with the one two three doesn't throw things off balance i don't know and then you have your reminders up here i already said reminders but that's okay um so yeah, um, this is the daily planner and all this planner is, is just this. It's just a bunch of these, but I love it because it's so functional and I'm going to love using this personally. There are some, um, dot grid pages in the back, not a ton, but you get the gist. There's a handful back here in case you need them, but especially on my super busy days, where I just have to write things down. I mean, I write stuff down every day, but if I really need to write things down and I need to keep things to a T, this is my go-to type of thing. I already have one in my office that I've been using that I love. So this is the daily planner. Um, we do have some other types of inserts over here off to the side that are also functional that I mentioned. We have two new ones that I was talking about, so I will show those in just a second. I actually might do those before I do the no, I won't. I won't. Never mind. Let's just ignore me. So I'm going to go over the new covers now. Um, I do have all eight here. Proud of, I was about to say proud of me for having all of them, but honestly, let's give a round of applause to Bill, my husband, for making all of these because making planner covers is um, really tedious. Um, <laughs> In case you did not know, um, it is very, very tedious to make these covers. Um, so whenever he asks me for something that we don't absolutely need, so like, for example, having these covers in a video, he's always just like, do I have to? And not in like in a mean way, but it's just like a, kind of in like a, a 
that's absolutely the last thing I would want to be doing on planet Earth right now sort of way. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, you already saw this cover, but I'm going to show it to you again. So that's the front and the back, and you can see the inside here. So shiny, you can see my lights and stuff. I wonder. Yeah. So that is the 2025 with the floral sketch that I was telling you about. This one's called Vintage Leather Leather. Blah, 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 letter. Um, the front and the back is the same. Super cute. Um, watch me say that about every single cover. Super cute. And then you have like some vintage, like faded out writing on the inside. Love her. This is another one in that seasonal city collection. So this is the winter version. So you can see the front and the back are the same. And then, of course, you have that super cute but simple dot confetti design on the inside that matches the colors of the outside. I really, really, really wanted to be able to do this in such a way that you would be able to have all four seasons, one season on each side, right? And you would just be able to flip it based on what season that you're in. I know. Some of you probably thought this as soon as I showed you this, you're like, why don't you just do it that way? But the problem is, is that at some point, wait, did I just figure it out? No. Yes. No, I did not figure it out. At some point, the design has to be upside down. So say I wanted this on the front, and then I want to put this on the front again. You have to flip it this way which would make the design upside down. So even if I had it right side up here, that means that this is upside down here. You know what I'm trying to say? And I just don't know that having an upside down city on the inside of your planner is exactly what people would want. You know what I'm trying to say? So that is why there are four different covers. And, you know, I learned a lot of things in engineering school. Unfortunately, this was not one of them. And I just don't think that it's like physically possible to do it that way without having your cover being upside down at some point. Um, so yeah, um, just in case you're wondering, I feel like I thought through every scenario, but if you figure out the solution, let me know. Uh, it's kind of too late if you do figure out the solution, but it will be extremely satisfying if you do. So anyway, this is the winter one. We already saw the fall one, but I'll show it to you again. Anyway, these are also available in B6, and they are also available in Classic Disc. I think it's reasonable for me to um, not expect Bill to make them in the B6 and the Classic Disc as well, especially after he was so nice to make all of these in the 7x9, which is very rare. Um, because like I said, covers are very labor-intensive to make, especially because ours are interchangeable interchangeable so they have the slip he also told me don't ruin them <laughs> because he didn't want all of his efforts to make these to go to waste so he's gonna like wipe them down and get them all ready um so that we can have them it'll probably go in like our extras in case something gets ruined when we're actually making something and we need to pull pull it um it'll go in our extras if we're short like a front or back or something but yeah Anyway, something just fell off my desk and I have absolutely no clue what it is, but this is the fall one. This one is the spring one. Look at the colors on the inside. So pretty. And the back. I, if I remember correctly, I think my camera cuts me off at 30 minutes, so we got about one minute. Maybe I should just end it here and restart. One sec. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so. This is the summer one. It has like palm trees and seagulls and stuff. Super cute. Love the colors. She said super cute again. And here are the, here's the inside with the colors. This one I was showing Jessica from Letters to Apollo. Oh, that's why it was making a weird noise. I guess I got a call from someone. Um, it's okay. It's probably not important because I don't know who that is. Um, I was showing Jessica from Letters to Apollo this co cover, and I told her this is, um, I'm calling this Grandma Wants Her Planner Back, 
Um, not in a mean way. I love this. I think this is so freaking cute. And then again, I am known to like grandma e type things. Not that being a grandma is a bad thing. It's just like, I think that there's just certain styles that are associated with grandmas. And this is one of them, and I am here for it. So this is called Quilted Coquette. Every time I say coquette, I want to say coquet. I don't know why. And I don't even know if coquette's even the, person, the correct way to say it. That's what everyone is saying on social media, but I have very quickly learned that just because someone, a lot of people on social media are saying it one way, does not mean that it is correct. Um, for example, um, just like a bunch of planners are Japanese and people have been pronouncing them incorrectly apparently. Um, Amy from C Amy Draw has been doing these little like Japanese lessons on how to pronounce um, like Japanese planners correctly or things associated with Japan correctly um, and I'm here for it and it's made me realize that some of these things that people are saying are not correct and I had no clue. So we're gonna call it coquette. I hope that's correct. Um, anyway, so here is the outside and then here is the inside. It's just a super simple stripe, which if for some reason you like this better than the quilt or you want this on the outside, you can flip them and have this, have the stripes on the front of your planner and then have the quilt on the inside. I don't know, just something to think about. And then lastly, I feel like I do one every single year um, and I just, I have to, I'm sorry. Um, I love Christmas. I know not everyone celebrates Christmas, I'm sorry. Um, not that, I'm not, whatever. I'm I'm not gonna explain myself, but I love Christmas. Um, and so this is this year's Christmas cover. <laughs> I feel like I should do a Halloween cover too because I just, I also love Halloween and I would totally do some other holidays too. Um, but I don't know, there's something about this design that was calling to me and I had to make it a cover. I was not going to do a Christmas cover this year. I did one last year. I think it's still up. Um, but something about this was calling to me and I just had to make it a cover. So that's what it is. It's like vintage, like glass decorations, like Christmas glass decorations. And I love it. So this is cover, the back, and then the inside is just a creamy. This looks white on camera, but it's the same color as the background of these, which is like a cream color. Now everything, the whole background doesn't even look cream to me on camera now my little camera thing. I don't know. You get the point. So those are all the new covers <clears throat> that are in addition to all the other covers that we have in the shop currently. It's like 30 something covers, I want to say. So there's that. Um, so what I was saying earlier is I didn't know if I wanted to show you the new inserts, which Bill was really, really on it because I asked him this new daily grid in the lined weekly only comes in three sizes. And I was like, just give me one of them. And I'll tell him that it comes in other sizes, but he really pulled through and he's like, no, I'm going to give you all of them. So this stack is especially large. Um, I think I'll go over the dated monthly and weekly first, and then I will show you the two new inserts in all of their glory. I'm just trying to make sure I get everything somewhat organized. So here is the monthly and weekly. Now would be a good time to plug. A Dear Emmy cover now that I think about it. I feel like I have one right next to me, but I absolutely do not. You know what? I'll be right back because I want to show you. Okay, they were right next to me the entire time. I'm just blind, I guess. Um, ironically though, I do not have an A5 wide cover next to me which would have been extremely convenient but knowing my luck that's exactly what would happen so I'll show you these covers but um when I show you the other inserts because we have other sizes um so yeah I have a couple here um I don't know what they are off the top of my head but I know that this one's an A5 one um but I'll go ahead and talk about it now. We do have this in the A5 wide size that does fit these inserts. Um, it's from our sister company called Dear Emmy. I'll leave a link in the description um, so you can check it out. 
but we do have our, it's just a ring planner leather one. It's real leather. Um, and we have pockets here on the sides and then it has a snop, snop, snap closure. <laughs> Um, and then you also have your ring mechanism here. My daughter's been playing with this one, so I apologize for all of the little grimy fingerprints that are all over it. But this is the um, A5 size, but we do have the A5 wide size, which does fit these inserts. If you were looking for a leather planner to house all of these inserts, I feel like that's making too much of a shadow. Hmm, you'll go over there. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, I'll show you them in the um, other inserts that I have off here to the side that I should show you. I'm actually going to move these planners. Oh. I'm going to pretend like you didn't hear that. Um, off to the side so I have a little bit more moving around space. Anyway, here is the monthly and weekly um, dated. We also have the monthly and weekly undated. And then we have just the monthly dated which only has the 12 months and just the weekly data, which has 52 back-to-back -back weeks. And then, of course, we have the undated monthly and the undated weekly as well. So that's a whole mouthful. But I'm just going to show you guys the dated monthly and weekly. Um, so just hop right into it. You get straight into your dashboard. There are no tabs on inserts. You have your month, which are... Um, a5 wide slash 7 by 9 monthly fits in these inserts. And then oh, you just get right into the days of the week. So this is literally just the same thing as our 7 by 9 planner, just with no tabs. And it doesn't have some of the other pages that the planner has, like the yearly overview or the dot grid at the back. But it's the same exact thing. Um, the size is just a little bit different. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you have your dated dashboard, your dated monthly, and then you get right into your dated days of the week. And then, of course, you get into your next dashboard, February, and then your monthly. You only get the dashboard, which is this, if you get the monthly plus weekly insert. Um, and then, of course, the undated one just doesn't say February or whatever month this is on it. I'm getting a little... Hosties, I'm taking off my jacket real quick, but um, if you get just the monthlies, it will have just all of the months back to back. And if you get just the weeklies, it'll have all of the weeks back to back. So this is what the dated looks like. And then the undated is the same as before where you do get the days of the week at the top. You do get the days of the week at the top here as well. You just don't have the numbers or the months on it. So that is that. This specific insert is available in... This is the A5 wide, but it's also available in A5, B6, A6, and Classic Disc. Um, so this is the only insert that is available in all of the sizes. The inserts, the new inserts that I'm about to show you um, are only available in three sizes each. Um, I don't know what my reasoning was for making them only in three sizes each, and they're also in different sizes, both of them. Um, I think it's just like what size made the most sense to me when I was designing it, but if I do get a lot of feedback that you want a certain insert in a different size um, that wasn't offered, then I can consider it. So we'll see. I should have gave like a, I'm going to take a sip of my drink warning just then, but it's fine. So first off, we have our daily grid. This is the A5, and I'm going to throw it in my A5 rings. Maybe I should do the A6. No, it's fine. it's fine. I'm just going to do it up to the side here. It's a little bit easier for me to see what I'm doing than it is for me to just do it under camera. Like I said, please keep in mind that my kid's been playing with this one. So, anyway. So, this is the A5... Dear Emmy cover. This leather is the steel leather, I believe, with the gray stitch. Just taking an opportunity to plug Dear Emmy while I'm at it, I suppose. Um, and this is the daily grid insert. Um, 
So this is the cover page and this daily grid is, like I said, it's a lot more functional than the normal planners that we do, but it's, mm, I don't wanna say less functional than the daily coiled B6 planner that I showed you, but I feel like this insert has way more room for stickering than that B6 coil daily planner does, just in my opinion. So just to show you, we have the Monday through Sunday over here. It is a Monday start. Um, so you can write specific like tasks or appointments or whatever you want up here. And then you also have a large checklist that you can kind of use for like non-day specific to-do lists. And then after that, you have your grid days of the week. So you, I mean, it's self-explanatory, but you have Monday here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. So you do get, I think there's a glitch when this one was being printed. So let's ignore that for now. Um, so you do get your full days of the week here for the Saturday and Sunday. You do get like a full grid day for them. So um, yeah, like I said, just because you get a whole page for an entire day, but it's not as structured, it leaves a lot more room for stickers, kind of like similar to how you would like maybe like a Hobonichi cousin, um, cause this is a five size. So you get your day at the top and then you have plenty of room to write your stuff and also sticker. So, um, yeah, this is the daily grid with the weekly overview. Um, I don't really have much more to say about it. Um, it's just that over and over and over again. Um, and I don't know off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's 13 weeks. You get 13 weeks worth of this in here. So because it's a daily, um, each week takes up, mm, I don't want to say seven pages because they're front to back. Um, but I think it's like four or five pages. So it does add up. So because of that, we I didn't want to make the insert way too thick, so it is just around three months-ish worth of inserts. Yes, three months because that's one-fourth of a year, so three months-ish worth of inserts for this because each day is its own page. Um, so yeah, that is the A5 size. I don't know that I could have possibly made that explanation any more complicated than I already did, but... I think it's my special team. Um, anyway, so here it is in the B6 ring size. Um, I don't know if any of these ones that I have next to me right now are the B6 size and I'm not about to find out. So it's fine, we'll just flip. So it's the same thing. So it's B6, you get all your days of the week. And then back to your weekly overview. Um, so that is the B6 size, and then it's also available in the A6 size. So the three sizes for this one are A5, B6, and A6 rings. Um, and you can see here, again, the A6 size is so adorable. It also explains why I love the A6 Hobonichi. Um, <laughs> I just love this size. I think it's so cute. I think this one actually right here. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if it's not an A6, but I'm pretty sure that it is. Um, my child decided to give my dog a haircut, Sadie specifically, that's who the business is named after. And um, she also decided to put the scraps of that haircut in this planner apparently. So if you see that, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, this is the A6 in a DRME cover. I can't remember the name of this leather off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's butterscotch. I'm so scrambled from making all these listings, um, and getting everything up this morning that I'm forgetting the name of everything. So this is the daily grid plus weekly overview in the A6 size. And like I said, just so cute. We have the Monday through Sunday, your little to-do list, and then you get your daily grid spreads after that. So cute. And it's on the paper that you guys know and love, but if you're not familiar, it's a super textured thick paper that is really sticker friendly. Um, 
Um, what am I doing next? Oh, our aligned weekly. I'll start with the A5 wide size for this one. This one that I'm about to show you is in A5 wide, um, A5, and B6 rings. So I'll show you the A5 wide one. So here you have, it's almost like our normal, but not quite. So it's a lot more functional than our normal. Um, but again, I still feel like you can stick her in this. So you have your this week here. So you still get your weekly column. You get your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then you have a grid down here at the bottom. Um, perfect for like notes or tracking or whatever you want to do. Um, and then these columns still fit um, a full box. Kind of giving you a sneak peek here, I guess, showing you that. If I can find the full box page. No, I can't. Because it's over here. Thanks. So the full boxes here are the same width as the lines on here. So you can um, still put full boxes down in your columns if you wanted to. Um, but also any one and a half inch stickers will work in those columns. So this is undated as well. So you just get 52 weeks worth of these lined weeklies. So this is the A5 wide size, but actually it's pretty good that Bill brought me the other sizes here because I cannot fit four columns across on either of these ones that I'm about to show you. So you'll see um, how we jumped over that hurdle. Um, which was taking the cheap way out. No, I'm just kidding. But we went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then weekend. I really wanted to keep the columns um, stickerable. And by that, I mean keep the columns still able to fit one and a half inch stickers. So um, that's why we have a weekend column and not, um, not the columns just being like super thin. Um, so they're still one and a half inches, and then we have your grid down here at the bottom as well. And again, this is 52 weeks. And then the B6 is the same way as well, um, but it's just in B6 ring size. Flip her open. Again, you have your columns here with the weekend column. And you could totally white it out and make your columns whatever you want to make them. It's up to you. Um, but that's just how I decided to structure it. So that was the B6 ring size. So now that I'm done showing you all of these dang inserts, which it was quite a few inserts. Um, and again, if you're looking for a home for your inserts, check out Dear Me. Um, which, like I said, is our sister company. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you the foiled stickers, and then I guess I'll show you the January 2025. January 2025 is really getting overshadowed by this release, honestly. Um, so I'm going to show you this week's stickers just because the foil ones first, because I made them with the intention of undated planners. So I'm going to, I'm pulling one onto here so you can get the idea that I had behind a lot of these, which I'm going to move these inserts as well. Okay, I'm going to open to the middle of the planner, actually, because I feel like it lays better for showing in videos that way. Mm, I guess it's as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to start first with these um, mini monthly calendars. So I'm showing this sheet here on transparent, um, but it is also available on white and it is available on craft paper. Um, and they are just cut out to be little squares with the monthly calendars on it and they are the exact same calendars that are part of the monthly overview at the beginning of the planner. Maybe I shouldn't have flipped to the middle. They're the exact same ones as these except instead of a script font it's um, just a little um, sans serif font. Um, it's the same font as the numbers and stuff so it's like super cohesive. Um, and these are perfect for whatever, honestly. You can put it, maybe if you had like the B6 undated, you could totally use it here. You can use it in the little sidebar down here or in one of the um, 
let's say you have there's no day of the week here you could just throw your calendar in that little box there too it's totally up to you I love these I think that they're super cute and functional but like I said this is available in transparent white or craft paper and then I'm showing it in gold foil here but you can get it in gold silver rose gold hollow or black um, and so these are the mini monthly calendars, the 2025 edition. Next, we have our large months of the year. Um, and these are made specifically for your monthly overview. So I literally just took these from the dated planner and I dragged them over, turned them into stickers, and now you have them in sticker format for your undated planner. Um, and these also are available in gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, and black. They're only available in transparent. Um, I do want to note though, which this might drive some of you nuts because it kind of drives me nuts, but I really could not find a good compromise for this. The January, June, and July, um, has a dot and the dot is not connected to the sticker. So you have to like freehand put it down. Um, I know that feels criminal. <laughs> But it just like looked so weird having like a huge like loop going around it just to keep it connected. So that's that's what I came up with. Um, it's connected in the April because it wasn't so weird connecting it with the L. But um, yeah, is the July connected? Yeah, I made the July connected. I'm questioning all my decisions if I did things correctly. Um, so yeah, these are fit to perfectly work here in your monthly spreads and then I also have the if I can even function I also have the numbers so you can um, put the dates on your monthly spreads as well but if this is just if you just want the monthlies I was I did use my brain for just a little bit and I made these which are monthly essentials which I know that I have monthly essentials in the shop already. They do not specifically match the planner and they weren't specifically sized for this planner. So um, that's what these are. And these don't have holidays on them. These are purely for making an undated planner dated. So you have your January here, which you can put in your month, but you get two Januaries and you're probably like, well, what am I gonna do with other January? It's for your dashboard. So you have your January for your dashboard. You have your January for your monthly. You have since the planner already has Monday through Sunday, you don't need those. You have your January for your columns here, like this. And then you have one set of date numbers to use for your monthly. So one through 31. I gave you all 31 for all months. Yes, I know not all months have 31, um, 31 days in them, but I just figured that it's like a little bit more functional to have like a full set of date numbers, just in case you don't actually use them for this you like won't be limited if you decide to use them for something else. So yeah, um, but January does have 31 days. Um, so you have one set of date numbers for your monthly and then you have one set of date numbers to use throughout your weeks. It also works if say like, cause January 1st is on Wednesday. So here you have the 31st for um, December. So you have the 30 and 31 and then you can go into one. So, and I gave you six of these no matter like how the month is, because I know some people might end up changing up their planner and not wanting to do the Monday start. And maybe when you shift it around, you end up having like more weeks of the month than you do in the way that it's laid out. So I just give you six of them. It's fine. So you have six Januarys, you have two um, month stickers or two month stickers and then two sets of date stickers. Um, so you have January, I don't think I really need to show you all these, but it's fine. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So these are available on transparent only, like I am showing you here, um, but they are available in gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, and black. And this is really convenient also because with this, you get all of the months in one foil color, but say like you feel like December is a silver month, but November is a rose gold month. You pick up December 
in silver in November in rose gold if you want. So there's that. I also just realized that I'm almost nearing the 30 minute mark on this too. And I already have another clip. So this video is very long. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, here are the month tabs. So you get three of each month. So that gives you, they are the exact font of the dated one. So that gives you enough to do one January on one side, one January on the other side, and then you get one extra in case you mess it up. Um, I didn't want to make a whole new size sheet for this um, because a lot of our sheets are all of the same sizing. So um, it just was simpler to put another set here, but I figured that it's good if you mess up or you have another use that you want to use it for or whatever you want. Um, yeah, you get three of them on here. Um, and again, you can choose to have your little tabs foiled. You don't have to use them for tabs if you don't want to, but I did make it match the font of the dated planner. And then just some other miscellaneous things that I made. You have some months, which are the correct size for the columns over here. So you just get January through December um, three sets. Um, these do not work as month stickers. I mean, you could try but you're definitely, they're a little large, so you're not going to be able to like read the full month when the planner is closed, which if that's not a deal breaker for you, then go ahead, you can use these as um, tab stickers if you'd like. You get three sets on here as well, so I mean, it's up to you. And then you have your days, which looking back, not sure why I did this considering all of our undated planners have the days of the week, but if for some reason you need to change your days of the week, but you still like the words, I guess you could just white it out and then put down the day that you want it to be. Um, so yeah, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight sets on here. Um, again, gold, silver, rose gold, hollow black. And then you have your dates. So these can be used in the monthly or they can be used on the days of the week. Please put them above the date. I mean, you don't have to, but uh, it's just so cute. I love it so much. Anyway, let's actually talk about the... This poor sticker kid has been crying in the corner asking for attention. Um, our January 2025 collection, which definitely wanted to release this with the January 2025 planners, just so you can pick up both at the same time if you really wanted to. You can also get the weekly kit free with your planner if you'd like. Um, the monthly kit is not included, um, but weekly kit, it is. Let's go through the monthly first. The monthly did get a little bit of an update. It's very, very, very minor. In fact, it's so minor that I'm not even going to pull out one of the old monthlies to show you what's different um, because it's just so minor. So main update, the top. I mean, we just had to make it cohesive. And then here um, I did update the font. So everything is super, super matchy-matchy. Um, so this is January, super blue and pretty with the silver foil. Um, we have lots of postage elements. Fun fact, I actually designed the decorative kit for this first before I designed the actual kit, which is very backwards from how I normally do it. Also, um, what was I going to say? This was the first ever decorative kit that I designed in the new format also, but it's taking me this long to release it, which I think is almost kind of funny. Um, so you have your, this is the A5 wide 7 by 9 size. So yeah. January. Here is the second page. I'm not going to notice much different. I suppose you get your same thing here. I did make it so that the date numbers are all the same color. I think they were, they alternated colors before. Um, you do have your holidays here still. I got rid of all of the blank ones and just made them all happy birthday ones. I was requested to have more happy birthdays on there. So that's that. And then instead of the solid outline boxes, we have the sketch outlines. We already had these watercolor ones before and these shapes aren't new either. Here is the decorative sidebar. So pretty. Um, and then again, we switched out some of the shapes for the sketch version instead of having them all lace. And then you still have your watercolor shapes here, your torn paper, and then your decorative sidebar. And then here's the checklist sidebar. I made it so that the checklist actually has a white background. I felt like with the checklist being a heavy watercolor 
and then having more watercolor in the background, it was just kind of looking like, I don't know, I feel like it would look kind of muddy, maybe not muddy, but a little too busy. Um, so um, the background on these is white now, but you get the watercolor shape. So I still feel like it's like enough color, you know what I mean? Anyway, this is the checklist sidebar. Here is the B6 monthly no update here, no update here, except they all say happy birthday now, like before. And then here we have, again, all of the date dots are the same color. And then the only other update here, this is the decorative sidebar, the B6 kit. It's only two pages. I never show the B6 kit. Um, but we did swap out for some sketch boxes. And then, of course, you have your decorative sidebar. So cute. And then here's the checklist. Again, the checklist has like a kind of like whitish. Well, it is white. It's a white background. So that is the monthly reformat, the January 2025. Let me show you. Go ahead and show you the weekly now. So the weekly, again, matches the monthly. So here the quote says Winter Wonders. You have that little statue with the um, like litter holder. Um, you have the ski lift, a, like frozen pond, the desk here. Um, here we have some coffee with a croissant and then a little open book. Here's a little bistro table with some steaming hot coffee on it. And then, of course, your foiled floral boxes. Um, I really wanted this kit to be, like, planning into the new year without being, like, in-your-face planning. Like, kind of, like, fresh new year, new start sort of thing. So, also, did not have this planned, but... Unexpectedly, um, we have booked a trip for January because Delta was having a like Sky Mile sale for certain destinations, um, and I may or not be may or may not be going skiing in January, and I've never been before. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm too scared, and I'm just gonna chicken out of it. Um, but. I just think it's so funny. Like, did I manifest that by having this box here? I don't know. <laughs> here is your boxes page. This is in the updated format. So, um, you have your layering page, silver foil, all your little deco pieces there, your washi page. This has a little, that's technically an oops. Whoops. Of course there had to be something wrong in this video. It's fine. Um, Here's your deco page, the deco add-on. The journal add-on. The floral deco add-on. And the alcohol add-on. And then last but certainly not least, I'm going to show you the decorative kit. Like I said, this was the first decorative kit in the new format that I did. Um, I think this one's my favorite one that I've done to this day. Um, apart from maybe August Mystery. If you've seen that one, that one was top tier. I really don't know how I'm ever going to top that, but still. Um, I don't know. Then September Decorative was really, really cute too. Oh, and October one's cute too. But this one still holds a place in my heart. I think it's because it was the first one I ever did in the new format. Um, but yeah, so here we have the flowers, which is page one. I'm showing this in white, but it is also available in washi. Um, just shows better on camera in white, but here we have the bouquets, your elements. Here we have the edges. This is like mother of layering. Lots of stampy vibes. Here we have the layered page, which is called compositions on the site for some reason. I'm not paying attention. Um, and my camera gave up on me. Well, it just hit the 30 minute mark, but it's fine. Um, this is the layered page. Then we have the paper strips. The days and dates, I will say for the monthly one, instead of having like the to do's and all the other words that I had over here, I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. You get a bunch of January's and then you get a couple 2025's. Um, Hopefully my brain can remember to do that for February. <laughs> um, 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I will, but still, I just think it's funny. Um, but all other decorative kits don't have these, but January does, so that's fun. Here are the borders. They are foiled. Um, and then normally, our decorative kits have the scenes first as page 9 and the box swatches second as page 10. I absolutely have no clue what happened between this kit and all of the other kits that I've designed since then because I design, when I do the reformat, I design a kit and then use that as the template for all the future designs that I do. And I have absolutely no clue where my brain just decided that like this was going to be page 10 and this is going to be page 9, but this is absolutely I think the only outlier in what I've been designing, so I just think that's so funny. Ooh. Sorry for the yawn. Um, but this, um, I reflected the pricing and stuff correctly on the website, and I just hope that I don't mess it up in the future, but the page name and the pricing is correct on the website. So just make sure that, I don't know if you like look at the page number when you're normally ordering decorative kits, but just make sure that you are ordering the correct page if you only, if you don't pick up the whole bundle. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, box swatches pulled from the full boxes as usual. Super cute. Here are the scenes. This is also giving more fresh start vibes like this laundry room. So cute. And then you have your swatches. I don't know why I'm wiggling them like they're foiled. But now we're at the end. That is everything. I don't think that I can... I don't think I really have the energy to like lay all this out to have like a super cute layout for my goodbye like I normally do. Um, so I don't know. I'm just going to do a quick recap. Again, January 2025 collection is available. We have our functional foil release that works really well with the undated planners. And then of course we have all of our planners. So undated, dated, the works. I don't know. We just spent a whole hour talking about it. So I hope that you know. Um, but again, in case you missed the beginning of the video, which if you missed the beginning of the video, I don't know why you're at the end of the video. But still, just to remind you that we do have buy a planner, get a gift free this weekend only. Add both to your cart, please. It's automatic discount. You'll know if you did it correctly if the kit becomes zero dollars at checkout. At checkout. If you're having issues like and you're just in your like where it says cart and you don't think that the, the pricing is showing correctly, just click check out. Like don't like go to checkout as if you're going to pay and then see if the discount comes off there because sometimes it does not come off in the cart. You just have to click like check out and then the discount will pop up. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. Um but obviously like if the pricing is not correct then um I mean, you can pay and then email us and we can see what we can do. Or you can just like email us and we can see what's wrong before you pay. So it's up to you. Um, but we will answer any questions. But chances are if it, the discount isn't coming off at checkout, then something is wrong. Um, like you might be doing, trying to do a deal that doesn't work. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway. Buy and insert the monthly plus weekly insert, the $30 one, and get a kit 50% off. Um... And then new releases are an additional 10% off. You can use PR codes to save on the other items. You can't use the PR code on top of the, um, the planner sale. And yeah, I think that's everything. Advent presale is closed. October mystery subscription, the mood board is up. And those signups close in, I think, just about a week. Um, so check that out if you have not already. And yeah, I think that is everything. Um, if you watched this entire video, thank you. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Um, I'll see you next week. Um, we'll be back to Tuesday releases next week. Um, I just had to push it to Friday this week just with the advent presale coming down and just like some other stuff that was going on here. Um, it just, we're just doing a traditional Friday release this week, but it's okay because we only have the one kit and planners and stuff. So it's fine. Anyway, I will talk to you guys next week. I hope that you have a great weekend and bye.